How's it going guys? It's Poetry Stud here and we are playing some more Civilization 5. I know I actually did a few episodes a while ago, but the third and the fourth one and the fifth one all got like messed up, so we're gonna start over. <laughs> and I'm just gonna consider this episode one, because I realize what I did wrong now. So, if you're not familiar with Civilization 5, it's a strategy game, and um I'll just talk more about it as I go along. But anyway, so this is a uh this is where we started off. We, I actually set it to, there's eight players. Oh, and I changed my name this time to Poetry Stud Empire. So it's Poetic Settler. <laughs> well, anyway, so then um, I set it to Archipelago. So in other words, there's going to be a whole bunch of small islands. Hopefully we have an island all to ourselves, because I think that would be pretty awesome. So what I'm thinking is, I think we should put a, uh, we could put a city right there, and it would be really easily defendable. Only like two sides, but I don't know. People might not come from land anyway, so let's just put it here. Cause I want to be near the fish. Um, London has been founded. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. So in other words, there, one thing I, I'll talk to about this game as if you guys didn't know, because I don't know if any of you know it or not. So, anyways. It's um, one thing I like about this game is it's it's in a hexagonal format. It looks like this. It's really interesting because it makes it more realistic. You can attack, be attacked from like six different sides at once, which is more realistic. I mean, yeah, it's not like you would only be attacked from four like most strategy games have. But yeah. So, anyways, um, so there's eight other or seven other players. So it's gonna be really interesting out trying to find them on islands and stuff. I am the uh, British Empire, as far as the bonuses, you know, studded empire, actually. But as far as bonuses go, we have, like, naval bonuses, like the British have, historically. So I thought it would be really helpful on islands to have navy, you know. So I'm really going to be navy heavy, which I, I think will be interesting. Let's just continue our turn. So I, I made sure this time, unlike some other times in the past, I made... Oh. I made sure that uh the resolution was all full because it was like too tiny in the last one i tried i made sure the resolution after the arrow oh we got archery that's good uh oh there's a nation oh crap we're gonna have to share the island that's india i think or china one of those but um, like i was saying last time i uh, made the resolution too small and stuff so it was crappy my mic wasn't loud enough and it just uh, stopped started freezing sometimes so this time it's gonna i made sure it's a lot better so it'll be a lot better for you guys okay so let's see who we found over here i'm pretty sure it's india yep it's india we should just okay what we should do is we should just take them over real early on that might actually be a really good idea we should do that as soon as possible for now we gotta explore over here explore over there Maybe we can put a city up in here somewhere and take that one over. Maybe put a city in here. I don't know. We'll plan it. It would be a good defensive choke point right here for early on in the game. That's all that I know, but uh, but we'll see. This will be fun. Okay. So I'm about to get another population. Uh, okay. London has grown. Sweet. So we heat. So we heat. So we girl. Okay, so if you're not familiar, this is where it shows all my stuff. Happiness, uh, golden age points, money, and science. Okay, but yeah, so um, I'm... Okay, so we got mining. Sweet. Let's see, let's do... Usually, uh, this is your advisors. They actually tell you what to do. We'll get an uh, economic advisor. They want us to do a worker. I kind of want to do another warrior. Let's just do a scout. We need to scout early on. I don't know why it tells me not to do that. I'll, the good thing about early on is the game goes really quickly, which is good. So I'm trying to get around this guy to see around Gandhi. Gandhi. Are those diamonds? It's silver. Okay. I was about to say, if he's got diamonds, he's lucky. Man, this is a big island. I thought it was going to be small islands, like really small islands. Oh, I guess I only chose normal islands. There's one for even smaller, I believe. Wait, do we? Oh, there's two ivory. Ivory is a really good resource. Silk is too. I didn't know that we there were two, and I just got one already. That's pretty cool. 
Like, one thing about this game is your culture increases your land, and our culture's growing constantly, so that's good. Um, but this is really good. Uh, I think I like bleh, I like this position. Okay, so we can adopt a social policy now, because we have 17 out of 15 culture. Um, this is best for small empires. I want to be a big empire with several cities and naval trade routes. Um, this is rapid expansion. That one might be good. Honor is combat. We're not going to worry about combat yet. So we're going to do this one. Okay. We have. Oh, there's our scout. Let's go ahead and start exploring around these mountains. There's their warrior. Exploring, no doubt. No doubt. Out. Get out of here, man. Just kidding. Okay. Um. Do Canadian people find that racist? Like, is that racism for them? Looks like this is the end of the island down here. Well, we will see. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? I remember that from the Bible. What makest thou? Okay, so that's good. We have pottery now. Oh, now sailing. It would be good if we can get sailing early on. I didn't know you could get it early, this, this early on. Um, but that'll be good to do that. Yeah, sailing is an important technology to have. Especially if you're in naval, like maritime, like like uh, Great Britain is. Or was. I mean, now I can choose, but... I mean, that's what the bonus is that I have. Best compliment. So... Why not? Oh, also, if you didn't know, there's city-states in this game, which I thought was really cool when I first started playing it. Oh, uh, I think there's no way to get past here. That would actually be a pretty good spot to set up a uh, little base. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, there is a way, I think. I can't tell. Oh, there's an island there. The barbarian. I guess there's a city state. Interesting. I guess there's uh, an island right there that we can probably hop over onto eventually. Maybe put a city there? Connect it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. New social policy. Already. Dang. We are tearing it up. Um, free settler appears near the capital. That would be really good. Free worker appears. Let's do this first. Settlers. It's good to get settlers, more cities going early on. That way you start growing. You can found a new okay. city with your settler. Thank you. Um, first, got to find a good place to put it. She wants me to put it there. Marble is good. That's true. That would be a pretty defendable spot. I don't know. What about down like... I don't want to rush to conclusions. So we're going to keep you in my city for now. Next turn. Mm, so the barbarians are fighting that city-state there. Okay, let's go back to here. Uh, sleep. We're going to send you up to here. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get back. But, um, next turn. We'll have the worker done next turn. We have pretty good military power, it looks like. Let's go with you up here, Mr. Scout. Let's get our worker started in building an improvement, a farm, which increases production. I mean, it's pretty simple, to, pretty easy to guess what a that does. This is a pretty good choke point. They can't come into this whole half of the continent, which may be a really... It could be really helpful. If we wanted to put our city up here somewhere, it could... could put, and put one here, too, then we could have, like, a triangle that could potentially just control this half of the continent. That would actually be really good. I'm so indecisive when it comes to this game. I want to get one down. I should get one at least down here so I have a port on this side. Because this might, this port, London, might only be on this side. I need one on this side, in other words, so that I can kind of have access to this body of water. Um, I think that would be very useful. Maybe find one, uh... Let's see, find out who's on that island. There might be more islands, though. I mean, there's going to be more islands, so. Uh -huh. He who commands oh, the there sea. we go. Sailing. Yes. London grew again. That's good. Where are you booming? 
optics uh, lighthouse oh and this allows land units to embark on water which means that they can go in a tiny little boat and I could go to there actually I could go right now pretty much to there and explore actually I'm gonna do that you guys come back over here okay let's do this uh, you guys oh okay more ivory and sheep marble this might actually be another good place to do a city I don't know though I don't want to put it too close we need to go see if there's anything else because there may be it looks like that's it but there could be more for all we know it's very difficult to tell nope that's about it okay um let's see what we could do is we could put a uh, we could easily put just put a city here it would kind of control this area And that would actually be good. Or we could put it on this side. Hmm. Let's just move there first. We'll determine that when we get there. Okay, next turn. Indian spearmen there. Already upgraded to spearmen. Oh, there must be technology up there. Oh. Um, well, that's it for this part of the continent. Yeah, we'll definitely put one down here. Probably right there or right there somewhere later um what i think would be best for right now is to put our second city right on that spot and kind of control this area it'll still be in the same harbor area but that's fine it'll actually protect it more out here it'd be less protected if anyone comes from that side um yeah i think it'll be good you know and it's closer to the sheep which are good to have um, rather than there so we'll have that, um, all this area control, and then hopefully get that one too. Sounds good. Let's, so what we're going to do now is hold this spot. Make sure no one else gets it. You. Oh, okay, we can build a mine too. Okay, sounds good. Your settler is yeah, alone yeah. outside. I know. Alert. Construct a mine. Good. Next turn. I lose track and time in this game way too much. I'm probably going to again. So we're gonna wait till we get optics so that they can go across the ocean. Workboat. I guess that's for the fish. Um, a trireme is good. Eventually we'll we'll need that pretty soon. Great lighthouse. Ooh, that's interesting. Those are wonders, which give you like special bonuses. Uh, all military naval units receive plus one and plus one sight. That's really good, actually. We should probably do that soon. We'll do a workbook first so we can start growing a little faster and stuff and whatnot. Someone already entered the classical era. Okay, let's see. We have new policy. That's pretty good. But we actually, we actually need this. Um, we need this more. We need another worker. The reason why is because in a couple seconds we're going to, well actually in a while still, we're going to be able to build a road. For now I'm going to move this guy up here so that he can um, start building for this city. Kind of got to like think ahead for these things. Okay, let's do this. And next turn, we'll have our second city right there, and that'll, that'll be a pretty good powerhouse area in general, I think. So that'll be good. Um, yeah, they're still fighting. We'll hop across the water and go help them. And say, oh, God. There's already barbarians here. Why? How did they get across? They must have embarked as well. Okay, first off, let's found the city, and that gives us the ability. Your people are no longer happy. Oh, we don't have happy people now? Why not? That's not good, because it reduces your growth. So, what we can do now is we can attack him from the city, which is good. Uh, what else did I need to do? I need to fix that happiness thing. Let's see, what can we build in this city? We need an archer, and that's what we need.
Um, worker, you're gonna sleep there. That will do nothing, so we might have you do something soon. Another player entered the classical era. Darn. Okay. Do nothing. I'm gonna shoot you again. And if we. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't really help. Okay, let's see, what can we do? Hmm. Okay, we'll wait until like two more turns and then I'm gonna end this episode. This second first episode. Okay, so we got the work boat, which lets us do this. Bam! Now we have more food there. We'll start going faster. Um, so now we can build a trireme, but I'm not gonna worry about that yet. I don't I doubt anyone else has the ability to do sea travel. So we're not gonna worry about it. We're not gonna worry about sea travel just yet. We're gonna uh, focus on getting ready for sea travel and then eventually we'll just go bam. Okay, attack you. Let's build a farm here. This worker can do nothing. And let's defeat them. Yeah. Oh, we didn't kill him. Okay, thank you. Um, one more turn till we get optics. You made an instrument thanks to your research. Oh, oh, oh the classical area. There we go. Possess the embark. Oh, too many people trying to talk. Um, okay, so I want to show you guys something. This is the the technology tree. You can actually like start with agriculture. You and you. This is all of the technologies of the whole game. I've never actually reached this thing. And, but yeah, so um, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, so sorry, I got distracted. A whole bunch of stuff. So. Right now, we're all the way back here. Compass, we're not going to worry about that yet, because that deals with, like, creating a, uh, I don't know, stuff. <laughs> so right now, we're kind of in the uh, ancient era still, pretty much. We're kind of in the classical area, which was kind of like the Greek times, but this, but not really. We still have to do some stuff. So I want to get, uh, let's see, construction is pretty good. We need to do one of these two, I think. Iron working is probably good if we, although I don't know, if we want to do like, I guess we can do compass. No, it takes too long. Animal husbandry. Well, with a wheel, that's what I was going to get. Yeah, because we want to get uh, roads going. That'll help. And then that also leads to mathematics, horseback riding, etc., etc. So, um, yeah, let's see what's going on here. What's going on higher? Um, oh, and the last thing I was going to do before I end this episode. We are going to... Oh, crap. I can't embark. Really? I waited all that time for nothing. I waited all that time for nothing. Oh, and now I'm trapped in. Great. Just great. Just great. Just freaking great. Whatever. I guess that guy can't do anything then. So, um... I'm going to end this episode here. We got our empire set up. Eventually we'll put another settlement down there. Start exploring. Take some cities over maybe. Uh, attack the Indians. Take this continent over. Who knows? We'll explore. So um, with that, I'm going to leave it. Leave here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe for more. And also, if you do enjoy and want me to um, do more, then just tell me in the comments and leave a like and it'll let me know so thank you and until next time bye